Okay, here we have the function f of x equals 4 plus 8x minus 5, 8, uh, 4 plus 8x minus 5x squared. Uh, the domain of a function uh, are all the values uh, that can be inputted into the function. Uh, so basically, all values of x for which this uh, function would be defined. This function is going to be defined uh, for every real value of x. So we're going to say the domain is the entire x-axis uh, or all real numbers. Now we have to find the derivative uh, of this function uh, using the definition uh, of the derivative. So f prime of x is going to be the limit as h approaches 0 of f evaluated at x plus h uh, minus f evaluated at x all divided by h as h approaches 0. So to find uh, f prime of x, we have to take the limit of this function evaluated at x plus h minus the value of the function at x given right here, all divided by h as h approaches 0. So what we're going to do first is we're going to substitute x plus h everywhere in you see x. Uh, then we're going to subtract the function f of x written here, divide it all by h, do a little bit of algebra, and take uh, the limit as h approaches 0. So f evaluated at x plus h will be 4 plus 8 times x plus h uh, minus 5 times x plus h squared. And then we have to subtract f of x. Uh, so we're going to subtract each of these terms in f of x. So we're going to subtract the 4, subtract the 8x, and then we're also going to subtract the minus 5x squared, which turns into a plus 5x squared. All that is divided by h, and we're taking the limit as h approaches uh, 0. Continuing uh, simplifying this with a little bit of algebra, uh, this 8 is going to be uh, multiplying the x plus h, so we'll distribute it, uh, 8x plus 8h. Uh, x plus h squared, uh, this uh, has to be uh, x plus h is multiplying by itself multiplying itself because it's being raised to the second power. Uh, so we'll use FOIL to do x plus h times x plus h. Okay, so after a little algebra, uh, the 8 times x plus h uh, was 8, let's fix this, 8x plus 8h. So let's make this an x. Uh, and then the x plus h squared uh, was x squared plus 2hx plus h squared uh, times by the 5. Uh, you get minus 5x five five squared minus uh, 10 times xh minus 5h squared. And then we subtract uh, the minus 4 minus 8x plus 5x squared. All of that being divided by h. Uh, now things will begin to simplify a little bit. Uh, 4 uh, minus 4 cancels plus 8x minus 8x cancels, uh, minus 5x squared, plus 5x squared uh, cancels. And so now we have a little bit uh, more simpler expression here. Uh, so this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of 8h. Uh, minus 10xh uh, minus 5h squared uh, all divided by h. Now each one of these terms in the numerator uh, can individually be divided by h. So we're taking the limit as h approaches 0.
8h divided by h is just 8. Subtract uh, 10xh divided by h is 10x. Uh, and then minus 5h squared divided by h is just minus 5h. And as we take the limit of this expression, as h approaches uh, 0, uh, 5h is going to approach 0. And so we're going to be left with uh, 8 minus 10x. And so change the color. Uh, the limit of this expression as h approaches 0, since this term here will approach 0, we're left with 8 minus 10x. Uh, so f prime of x, the derivative of our function f of x, f prime of x equals the limit of this expression as h approaches 0, uh, which is 8 subtract 10x. So there is f prime of x. And last but not least, if we want to talk about what is the domain of f prime of x, what values of x can be plugged in, uh, you can see that any real number can be plugged into this function.